Right, just real quickly, I normally don't make these type of videos, but two important trailers just come out and I have a lot of positives and negatives to share about, and I just wanted an excuse to use my new camera. Woo! Alright, so the Sonic 2 movie trailer has just come out, and I was blown away by it, actually. The very beginning gave me that adventure-esque vibe on the rooftop looking at the cops going down, but otherwise, it was a bit disappointing at the very beginning. We just saw some generic, like, bank robbery going on, and Sonic has to stop him. Yeah, that's like, oh, this is going in a very typical superhero kind of way. But it picked up very, very quickly. So we saw Eggman is up to his old tricks. I'm going to be calling him Eggman a lot. Sorry, I know it's Robotnik in the film. But we saw this big green tornado thing going on with a menacing laugh, which is, that sends shivers down your spine, doesn't it? And somehow he's made it back into the world and he's found the ultimate power. Is this the Master Emerald or the Chaos Emerald? It kind of looks too small to be the Master Emerald, but it looks too big to be the Chaos Emerald. However, seeing that Knuckles is in the film and this scene, whatever's happening here, I'm going to assume that's the Shrine, so it's probably the Master Emerald. I was hoping to see the Chaos Emeralds, but I was not expecting to see Super Sonic or anything like that in this film. That's most likely reserved for the third film, as long as this does okay. It looks like that Tails has been upgraded. His fur or model, something's different about him, but he looks better. I'm glad that Paramount have done their research and they've brought in the plane, the tornado, and they've like done a kind of battle in the air as well that you would see in Sky Chase or that level in Sonic Unleashed. That sort of thing, so that's really great to see. And how about Knuckles' entrance? That was badass! Although it looks like that he's been duped by Eggman, which is... I wouldn't say again, because this is its own story, like, brand new. That's why Tails says, my name's Tails. Which does make me wonder, is it actually Tails? Is it Miles? Um, They might have like forgotten the whole, or just completely put aside the whole Miles kind of name. Everything met my expectations, although my expectations wasn't that high. Remember the first film, you know, it's like, it's not for adults like me. It's like, for, I wouldn't say for kids, as well. it's like PG kind of rated, isn't it? So right in the middle. My only problem, I wouldn't have called it a problem, I'm, I really hope I'm wrong on this, is that if you actually check the trailer on Paramount Australia, the release date is March 31st, whereas everywhere else it's April the 8th. Now, I'm hoping that Australia or America, or any other country for that matter, don't get it a week early compared to everyone else and me. Because if you remember the first film, that came out on the same day for everyone, I think. And being a huge Sonic fan, I found out the spoilers for Tales of Ping right at the end, on day one. And I saw it pretty early on that day, so I knew he was coming. Now, expect me as a Sonic fan, a huge Sonic fan, and then I got all my American friends and YouTubers and Australian friends and all Sonic fans suddenly going on about it because they've seen it a week earlier and I'm just waiting here like la 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 that's not gonna happen <laughs> so I'm hoping that everyone gets it on the same day but otherwise it looks really good can't wait for it I haven't really got any other negatives on it so Sonic Frontiers on the other hand Let's start with the positives first. Okay, scenery is absolutely stunning. It looks beautiful, so elegant. Um, I, I know that a lot of this trailer is CGI, to be fair. Uh, yeah, I don't think all of it's CGI, but I'll come back to that in a minute. But yeah, the world looks beautiful, and it looks like it might be one of the highest graphical looking Sonic games we're going to get to date. I'm really glad that they haven't changed Sonic's model. I was afraid that they were going to change it drastically to meet the Sonic movie design. Uh, or at least like they might start putting blue arms in and like, making them taller. I don't know. But Sonic looks good. That's what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> Tails' voice is quite suspenseful. Like at um, a certain point he says, Sonic, over here. But what does he say here? It's too dangerous. 
I can't quite make it out. I did see a tweet from Donny, but it's actually Amy that's talking at that point. Not sure, but it doesn't really matter from the trailer. Tells Amy, who cares? Because we don't know where they are, what they want, what's going on. We're still pretty in, in the dark about the whole story, so it doesn't really matter at this point. And this is just me saying that the CGI here, if it's looking this beautiful, I'm hoping that we actually get some CGI in the game. They did this with Sonic Forces, they gave us a lot of CGI with the trailers, and I've only played the game once fully, so I might be wrong here, but I don't remember any CGI in the actual game at all. Maybe for the intro and outro, I, I honestly cannot remember. So I'm hoping that they'll change it with Frontiers. That they're not just going to keep giving us CGI trailers. And then when it comes to the actual game, it's just, just going to be all pre-rendered cutscenes and that sort of thing. Um, I don't mind some of it being that. But I would like to see some high detail quality CGI video in the game when it comes to cutscenes. And now, here's where it comes to my negatives. Again, no gameplay. Um... We should have had gameplay by now, surely, uh, uh, it's been a very long time, it says holiday 2022, of course it says holiday so they don't give us an exact date, it's probably going to be in exactly a year's time, <laughs> but I, I was a bit upset that we, even if we just got like 5 seconds worth, it would have been something, you know, but no, we just have to go by the uh, CGI stuff. Although saying that we didn't get any gameplay, I think we actually did get a look in the game. After Sonic takes a turn off the cliffside and then the camera goes under the arch and all that sort of thing, the graphics get toned down a bit so it doesn't look CGI-esque anymore. I think that's in-game. Um, I could be wrong. For in-game it actually does look beautiful. When you're going through these leaves they fade out. That highly suggests that this is in-game. Looks good so um, yeah I can't complain of how it all looks. But the whole thing is open world and this is where most of you are going to disagree with me with this. I don't like open worlds. I don't like exploring. I don't like having to find this to proceed. I don't like RPGs. I want to get right into the action. So with Sonic Adventure, with the hub worlds and such, you know, I've got to find this and find out, you got to go here, where do I go? That I don't like that sort of thing. With Sonic Adventure 2, so glad it was just from stage to stage to stage, straight into the action. With this, I'm hoping that we don't have to do a lot of exploring and finding. I don't mind if we have to boost there and destroy robots and do some tricks on the way. That would be cool. So like kind of a huge Sonic Unleashed kind of level design while finding things. I'll be happy with that. But if we're literally just doddling around and got to find this, I'm not going to be happy with that. Remember in Sonic 06, a lot of people said that the sceneries was just a bit too generic and you couldn't like pinpoint any locations. There's no attractions, that sort of thing. Well, with this one, it just like just looks even worse. Like, oh yeah, I need to go to the tree. What what tree? <laughs> That's a bad example. You know, except for the robots kamikaze him and he's trying to avoid this wisp-esque looking thing. I hope there's no wisps in this game, by the way. Please, let's just get rid of him now. It doesn't scream, Sonic. Where's the corkscrews? Where's the loops? Where's the springs? Um, where's Eggman? I know Eggman is in the game. I know that, but... We didn't hear anything. I don't get Sonic vibes from this. I don't know what that purple beam is meant to be. It might be the Phantom Ruby, because I'm pretty sure this pillar is meant to be from Sonic Forces, you know, after... What's his name? I forget. Said, I'm not weak! And he went over there. Um, how far in the future are we for this to become ancient? I hope this isn't another time-travelling game. You know, they always confuse the story plot with that story plot. I might be wrong, it might just look too similar and I'm just guessing that's from Forces. It might be something completely new. But yeah, Sonic Frontiers is just not tickling me, you know. I'm not that excited. I know I've got to wait for gameplay. I can't make a proper conclusion until we see that. I understand that, so I am waiting for more. Whenever we'll get that, I don't know. <laughs> but then, once we see gameplay, I'll make a proper conclusion on this whole open world thing. So, like I said, if we get to attack enemies and boost about and, you know, spring up and down, woo, boom, yeah, wah, points here, points there, 
that sort of thing while we got to go to location to location in this whole open world fantastic i think i might actually like that as long as we don't have to keep doing it and like look for this look for that i've just gone past it i'll never find it that sort of thing or if we just literally have to dawdle about you can't get past this door until you find the key if we have to do anything like that i'm not in slightest bit interested uh, it won't be my cup of tea. So yeah, that's my opinion. I hope that you respect that. If it's something that you're really looking forward to this game and you really like open worlds and exploring and yada yada yada, then more power to you actually. Good for you. And I hope that you're excited for this. For me, not so much. Sonic 2 movie, definitely can't wait for it. Frontiers, I need a little bit more, especially gameplay, before I can draw up any proper conclusion. Thank you ever so much for watching and... Um, Yeah, <laughs> don't expect to see another video like this in the meantime. I don't make these type of videos. Um, but thank you for watching. Take care.